Ladies and gentlemen, Madam President, I would like to welcome you most warmly to the Chamber of Deputies. President, we are delighted of your presence here in Luxembourg, one of the seats of the European institutions. Our discussion today was very fruitful. We established the importance of the role of the national parliaments and a fair dialogue with the European Parliament. We broached topics such as the war in Ukraine and its consequences. We are proud of the common response the European Union and its member states were able to provide and the demonstration of solidarity all around Europe. We have also discussed the future of Europe, the promotion of European values and the results of the campaign of the Luxembourg Chamber of Deputies. Most of all, we agreed that we need more Europe, not less. Thank you, Mrs. Mazzola, for being so proactively engaged in a strong European Union while involving its national parliaments. I pass the floor to Mrs. President, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. It is really a pleasure for me uh, to be here in Luxembourg and at the Chamber of Deputies. Earlier today, I met also with the Grand Duke of Luxembourg and the Prime Minister uh, Bettel. Uh, as you said, but I would like to reiterate, it was an absolute priority for me to come to Luxembourg, uh, not only because it is the seat of the European Parliament with Brussels and Strasbourg, but also for the important role that your country has played in shaping a modern Europe and the European Union as we know it today. This is a role and responsibility that Luxembourg continues uh, to, to, to have uh, today as we are facing a brutal onslaught which was discussed at all points of our uh, meetings of war on our continent because there is no doubt that Ukraine will define our European uh, future and it will undoubtedly impact all the decisions we take on the future of our Union. And as the European Union, uh, we have acted boldly and we have we acted very swiftly. We have adopted unprecedented and massive sanctions. And let me here strongly welcome the new fourth packet of sanctions that were formally adopted by the Council today, because ultimately we must stop Russia from sustaining this unjust war. More can still be done. Our target must continue to be a future of zero gas, zero gas from Russia. But we have also matched these actions with real solidarity that has allowed Ukrainians directly into our homes and into our hearts. And this is also through for Luxembourg that has already received more than 2,500 Ukrainian refugees fleeing the war. This is happening all over Europe, and I applaud this because this really is the best of Europe on display.